Hi everyone, so today we're going to talk products that are worth the splurge and products that are worth the saving aspect. So I'm going to talk to you about some products that I think are definitely worth the hefty price tag and a couple of products that are very great value and just as good. So I'm going to start with a foundation and you probably know what I'm going to say but NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This is a holy grail product for me. This is a product that is definitely worth the hefty price tag and it is a very, very hefty price tag at around £30. And it's a beautiful foundation. It's got a really beautiful finish, great coverage, um, very natural looking, but it just looks like skin, but with lots of coverage. It's kind of like your skin, but perfect. It's a really, really fantastic product. Um, it has got its downsides, like the fact that it doesn't come with a pump, which is a bit annoying, but it's just a beautiful product, and I definitely think that it's worth the money, and I will gladly spend the money on this. Then another foundation that I think is really fantastic is by MAC, and this is MAC's Face and Body Foundation. And again, another quite expensive, I think it's around £23 now, um, foundation that is very very unusual I've never had anything like this the finish is very unusual the texture um, the look that it gives the skin it's very very natural very dewy but at the same time it does make your skin look perfect it's a very very unusual product you can use it on your body as well so on your legs and places like that it would look amazing but um, as I said, very unusual. And the thing with foundations is I've never really, um, I've used quite a few that I like. So Bourjois Healthy Mix I like, the 17 on the Spot one I like, um, the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse I like, but they're not um, ones that I 100% couldn't live without and would have to run out and repurchase. The two I'm mentioning here are. So I do think with foundation, it is wiser to spend a little bit more in most cases. But when it comes to concealer, I have tried so many different types of concealers. I've used Laura Mercier, I've used MAC, I've used the By Terry one, I've used Clinique. None of them really stood out to me. They were all okay. Some were crap, some were better, but none of them really stood out. But the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, which looks like this, my writing's rubbed off because I've had this for forever, is the best concealer out there. It's around £4 and it's just a great, great product. It's got a little doe foot applicator and great under the eyes um, on blemishes it's just a fantastic product and you don't need to look elsewhere when you have something like this on the market because it's just fantastic then I'll stick to kind of skin related things um, I definitely think that blushes are an area where drugstore works really well and you don't need to spend a lot of money on, blush on blushes. I have got a few MAC ones, but to be honest, I don't feel like they apply that much better or last that much longer. So I definitely am a blush um, drugstore lover. And just a couple of examples here. MUA do fantastic ones. This is the MUA bronzer. Well, this is actually their pressed powder, but it's in shade number four. And I use this as a contour. I'm wearing it as a contour today. And this is a really, really great, finely milled, nice quality powder. And then all the MUA blushes that are a pound are fantastic. This one is called Bubblegum. And kind of a little bit dirty which is annoying but this is what it looks like it's a very bright pink very pigmented and they're a pound they're just fantastic and if you want something that kind of resembles a high-end product so something that you know would resemble a mac mineralized skin finish this baked blush by beauty uk has that kind of feel to it it's just a lovely bright pink baked blush that's kind of got a little bit of a sheen to it um, and you can see here it's just kind of got a little bit of a sheen and very very pretty and easy to wear so blushes definitely definitely drugstore then something that I think um, drugstore doesn't do very well is eyeshadows I don't like eyeshadows from the drugstore really I just don't really like the color selection I don't find that they last very well and especially oh there's a bug in here especially on me um, I just find that they crease my favourite, favourite eyeshadows are MAC eyeshadows and Urban Decay. I've just got the example right here of the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, which I absolutely adore, um, as a fab example of high-end eyeshadows. I definitely think that high-end eyeshadows are worth a splurge. Both MAC and Urban Decay are my favourite. Then, um, mascaras. I definitely think that drugstore mascaras are better than high-end. Um, I've tried quite a few. I used to like the YSL, what's it called? Um, Faux Seals Mascara. I used to really like that, but to be honest, there are so many great ones on the market. 
a high-end example for that I don't love is the Benefit Their Real Mascara, for example. Really lovely concept, but just very, very expensive. It's around £18. It's got that kind of unusual little brush with a little kind of roller ball at the end. And um, it dried very quickly, and it's a nightmare to get off. And it's just something that... It's not worth the money whereas you could go out and buy something like L'Oreal Voluminous for a fraction of the price and it will work amazingly well so I definitely don't think that high-end mascaras are where it's at at all something that I do prefer high-end are unusual lipstick colors I like to buy a lot of lipsticks from the drugstore I will kind of buy just kind of everyday pretty pink shades um, and just normal colors but for slightly unusual colors I do like to buy nicer ones and MAC is the kind of best at doing that this is one of my well this is my absolute favorite red and it's MAC Scarlet Abyss from the Marilyn Monroe collection which looks like this really really beautiful beautiful red color that keeps making my lighting go weird what is up with it today um really really gorgeous color and two other great examples of kind of unusual colors are max ravishing which is just a beautiful kind of peachy coral color and max impassioned which is just a beautiful kind of bright pink but with colors like that I find that it is nice to spend a little bit more to be fair I did think when MAC lipsticks were around 12 pounds that they were reasonably priced and that was okay they're like 16 pounds 50 the last time I bought one and that's really really expensive in my opinion but there are some good drugstore lip products and I definitely think that you don't have to spend a ton some really nice ones are Revlon I love the Revlon matte ones which just look like this. This is a discontinued shade in pink about it. But Revlon do some fantastic ones. And um, this one right here is a great everyday pink by NYX. Which is called Tea Rose. I love this colour. I wear this loads. And then um, 17 do some really fantastic ones. I'm wearing a 17 one right now. And this is um, in the shade LA. Which just looks like this. I'm wearing this on my lips today. It's just kind of like a nice sheer pinky colour. And Maybelline do some fantastic ones too. This one right here is one of their jelly... Is it not jelly shine? What are these called? I think they're called Colour Sensation Popsticks. The Maybelline Popsticks, that's it. And they're just this kind of juicy sheer texture. But they're really fantastic. And lip glosses, I definitely, definitely don't ever spend a lot of money on lip glosses for the pure reason of I don't wear them enough to kind of warrant it and it's just not worth it to me. I love these ones by NYX. They're the um, Lux Lips Cream Glosses. These are really, really great. I love these. They're very pigmented and lovely formulas. And then I have got one eye product from the drugstore that I do think is worth saving money on. Don't go and buy an expensive cream eyeshadow before you've tried the Maybelline Colour Sensational Tattoos. 24 hour tattoos, sorry. These are really lovely. They apply nicely, they're around £4 and they don't crease and they do really nice colours. And the lighting is driving me crazy. What is going on here? I don't know. Anyway, we're near the end, so we'll, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to soldier through it. But nail polishes. I have got a couple that I think are definitely worth the money. And to be fair, I never ever buy um, things like Essie when they're totally full price, because then I do think that they are really, really overpriced. But I do think they're very nice quality, and I can understand why they're that expensive. This one right here is an example of um, a lovely nail polish. This is called We're In It Together which looks like this. It's just like a nice pale pink, but really fantastic. By the way, on my nails now, I'm wearing OPI's You Don't Know Jacks, which is kind of chipping a little bit. I need to redo them. But the drugstore do do really fantastic um, nail, uh, nail polishes as well. And I love, in particular, the Sinful Colours ones and the Barium ones. So they're just a little two examples. But I think this video has been really interesting in terms of are you a drugstore or a high-end lover? And I definitely, definitely think that for certain things I am a drugstore girl and for certain things I am a high-end lover. I, If I had to only pick one forever and ever, it would probably be the drugstore, I'm going to have to say. But I wouldn't want to buy things like foundation and eyeshadows from there all the time. I think the drugstore needs to improve hugely when it comes to eyeshadows I just don't think they're that fantastic and that there's that many of them on the market but when it comes to everything else I'm pretty happy to go drugstore but like I said I have got some 
firm high-end favourites that are definitely worth the money. So I'd love to know what your kind of splurge and save items are. Um, it's just a really kind of interesting idea and I think it's something that a lot of people benefit from knowing. So definitely, definitely let me know in the comments what your favourites are and what your least favourites are if you've got those as well. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!